Howdy peeps, welcome to or welcome back to the channel for uh, what is ostensibly a test of the new light I got for the GoPro it is currently about half past seven at night maybe a bit later might be getting nearer to eight o'clock so I did stop off for a natter and a fuss on the way let me just check me fun yep, 20 to 8 so we're walking down a totally unlit bridle path which you won't recognise but it's the one that runs down beside the A11 um, it's also the one where I've had paranormally encounters in the past there's something following me and I definitely don't feel alone although I certainly am because looking around can't see any torches and I am literally the only person that would be walking along here at night as you can see we are deep in the darkest wilds of nowhere we aim up somewhere around where are you So there's Venus and the moon in theory, although for some reason the moon didn't show up. Um, yeah, so as I'll reiterate from a previous video, there have been many car accidents and unfortunately some deaths along this stretch of the A11. Um, usually when the weather gets a bit moist or extremely wet um, and obviously my eyesight is better than the cameras at this light level I'm definitely feeling followed but I'm not getting any eye shine so if there was an animal you'd expect eye shine Now, I'm not scared, it's not something that worries me, I'm not bothered by, um, I know it's not a harmful or vengeful or evil or anything like that, it's just some poor lost soul. Um, yeah, and the reason I know I'm alone is I'm the only person that probably that would walk down here at night without a torch on. Yes, yeah, so I walked all the way down here in the dark. And if I switch the light off, you'll see just how dark it actually is. There we go. Completely pitch black. And I can walk in it absolutely fine. Because I have this weird thing called night vision. Anyway. <laughs> One reason I did want to come down here was to see what the river was like. Because, you know, it's serious lack of bramblage and a broken fence. But all the brambles and nettles are dead at the moment. So if we're careful, here's where Sharpie falls over and stabs himself in the groin on camera. Oh, oh nearly. So now this part of the river, let's get the camera and the light aimed in roughly the same direction. So this part of the river is normally dry. It might just be reflecting in the light. As you can see by all the grass. And if we go over that way, that is the main channel. So the river is definitely in flood, which is a good thing. And hopefully plenty of fishies in amongst. Although I didn't bring any fish food with me. 
Yeah, and that's a good six to eight inches, maybe a foot deep down there. So all looking good so far for the rest of the year, provided we don't get another evil drought like we had last year where nearly everything dried up. Ooh. Let's get back on the path. So yeah, the, uh, the spirit that's following me, I can still feel something there. Um, I'll turn back around, just check. No eye shine, I'll even stick my head torch on as well. I should have done that earlier, really. Mm. Yep, no eye shine from anything. So yes, it's just a quick one to see how the light works. And we are in the absolute pitch black down here. There is no light. The lights from the cars and the lorries on the road don't make it down here. Because they're about 20 feet above us. It would help if I actually... Oh yes, because I turned the head torch off, isn't it? That'd be why. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't have the head torch on when I walked down here. Oh, we have a gap in the fence, so we can actually get right down to the river quite safely and easily. And it's well trodden. Now that tells me people have been coming down here. But there we go. Oh, we've definitely got, life, definitely got wildlife around us. I'm going to have to come down here. When it's a bit lighter, I think my head torch battery's dead because that's just turned itself off again. But, yeah, so there's a decent bit of flow going on. I can see that in some ripples. And birds flying off. That's most of what's around us. Hopefully. There should be plenty of fishies in there as well. There we go. We'll call it there. I think this is a decent enough proof of the light doing what it's meant to do. Um, yeah. it's, it's not designed to be used as a, a main light for a camera outdoors at night to give wonderful cinematography how I'm holding the camera so it was pointed in roughly the right direction that's a bonus isn't it <coughs> excuse me man flew but yeah I'll say the main reasons I got the light is for when I'm filming in should we say less brightly lit places well we have a have a moth flying about, attracted to the light. I say yes, the main reason I got it was for things like churches and crypts, mausoleums, yeah. <laughs> kind of places that tend to be fairly dingy and hard to film in. So hopefully it will help for that. And also it means I can do the odd night excursion and see what's around. Um, whatever it is that's following me is still following me but there we go There's nothing to worry about just a gust all right if you made it this far through the inane waffle and bad camera work and traffic noises you might just be able to make out up the end there is the lights so we're coming back into civilization. But yeah. If you've got anything you want to say, stick it down below in the comments. Any questions, points, things you might like to see me filming.
it's all gravy suggestions on how to hold a camera still while walking along and talking and not actually paying any attention to where you're pointing the camera all these kind of things but thanks for watching have fun enjoy your hobbies stay safe peace out rock on bye bye <laughs>